broke the door. Walk through Roger Dupree's mobile home and it looks like it's been ransacked. There's nothing here. This is what's left behind after the police move through. It just seems like uh, they feel like I'm less of a human being. Nassau County deputies arrived at the Syosset Mobile Home Park with movers around 9 a.m. Wednesday to evict Dupree while he was at work. Randy Portnoy was there while officers kicked in the side paneling outside. Going underneath, cutting the plumbing, cutting the electric, shutting off the water. That's the first thing they do so you can't get back in and live there. Dupree is the third person who would have been evicted. It's part of an ongoing battle with the property owner, STP Associates. Residents say STP is trying to force them out with an expired eviction warrant to redevelop the land. This is total greed, and it's all based on money. By the time Nelson has arrived with this court order signed the day before, officers had already cleared out almost everything. It's, it's absolutely terrible. No conscience for human life, no respect. Dupree called the sheriff's office. They told him... They're sorry it was a mistake, but it really wasn't that big a deal. All his belongings now in storage. The Vietnam vet has lived here for 18 years. Now, two weeks before Christmas, he has no food, no sheets to sleep on, and only the clothes on his back. It's a horrible feeling. It's just horrible what's happening here. It's not fair. That's, that's, I don't see how it could be fair. Dupree says he'll now have to buy new clothes so he can continue to go to work. We reached out to the Nassau County Sheriff's Office and we haven't heard back. Lawyers representing the mobile homeowners and the property owners are both due back in court next Thursday. Meanwhile, Dupree says he will do his best to get through this one day at a time. Colleen?